My name is Jocelyn Corjolly. I'm an optometrist here in Oxford, uh, working between the eye hospital and the university. I didn't want to do medicine because both my parents are doctors, um, but I wanted to do something healthcare related. Uh, tried a few different um, careers with work experience and I found hospital optometry to be the most interesting because I just found it absolutely fascinating and there was a lot of scope to do different things so that's why I chose optometry and then I, I went to Cardiff because at that time it was one of the most scientific degrees um, that was out there. <laughs> I was lucky to get a pre-reg in a hospital department, which is what I was hoping for. I went to Arrow Park Hospital in the Wirral, had two um, fantastic mentors, and that's where I think I really developed um, and learned how hard I had to drive myself and how hard I could drive myself um, in order to improve and, and that's what gave me, um, they gave me a lot of freedom to get involved in different things and get involved in difficult clinical cases um, which gave me more confidence to explore my own abilities. Um, so I had a great year and I ended up staying on there for a few years afterwards. And then I got offered a job in a research department in Melbourne working mainly in contact lens research. So I jumped on that opportunity and moved to Australia, which was a really interesting experience. Um, but then after a year, I left. I'd got my Australian exams under my belt, so I moved to New Zealand, worked in private practice, and it was fascinating to see how optometry is practiced so differently over on the other on the, uh, another continent. There, optometrists are very much healthcare professionals and you are the first port of call for patients. There's no secondary service like we have here, so I was using a lot of my hospital skills. So I returned home in 2010 uh, and went straight into a master's degree at Manchester in investigative ophthalmology and vision science um, because my experiences so far told me that research was where I wanted to go and I've always loved science. I've always had a very curious mind and wanted to delve deeper into things, but I, I, I wanted to do it in a clinical setting rather than a pure research setting. The National Institute of Health Research allow clinicians from anywhere in the country to apply. So they have a stream for all medical professionals, but they also have a dedicated stream for allied health professionals, which optometry is now on, so we're allowed to apply. The application process was incredibly tough. So it's an online uh, application, 70 pages. I started it over a year in advance. And then I spent months on this form, <laughs> rewriting it several times, submitted it once, uh, uh, once that's submitted, it goes to a review panel. Um, and if you get a high enough score from the initial reviewers, then you're invited to interview. And that was 18 people interviewing me. So a five minute presentation and then half an hour um, gridding, <laughs> uh, so, which is incredibly intense, uh, So, uh, but quite a character building experience. I started off working with the clinical trials team looking at first in man trials for new therapies um, particularly gene therapy um, uh, as well as being given the opportunity to develop my own studies to support the the, the big interventional study they uh, basically want you to have a project and they want you to have the infrastructure to do that project in place um, and they want to see that you've got some of the skills required and that you've got a plan to develop the other skills. So they run various different schemes and I'm on the clinical doctoral fellowship scheme. It's a really good way for a clinician to progress their research career as rather than getting a PhD stipend I get a salary. So I'm currently doing my PhD. Uh, once I finish that I have lots of ideas of things that need investigating to support the bigger trials. Um, so I've got lots and lots of um, things that I want to do. Uh, I've made some good links with various people and departments so that I can try and apply for funding and carry on developing those, but always plugging into what's happening in the clinical world. So I want everything I do to be relevant to patient care.